Innovations in Interventional Cardiology, IIC Summit, has emerged to be one of most respected yearly medical conference discussing latest innovations in the field of cardiology. The latest innovation in the treatments of cardiovascular disease, structural heart has taken a very strong lead. By way of now, aortic valves can be replaced through what we call a TAVI procedure. So patients who could not be helped so far because of their age or high risk of morbidity could now be helped with, the, with this insertion through arterial route. This has become quite successful and now progressively even younger and younger patients who are suitable for aortic valve replacement have the option of using this minimal invasive technique. At the same time, there is a lot of work being done on mitral valve replacement also percutaneously. This work has already started, implantations in patients have already been done, but enough data is to be collected for it to be made universally available. In addition, even tricuspid valves repairs and, and insertions are being tried right now. So we see that over a period of time, a lot of contribution to minimal invasive approach to complex structural heart problems is emerging. Of course, it requires some specialized training for our cardiologists. It also requires for safety a hybrid operating theater which makes it safer in case of any eventuality where surgical procedure is to be done. In other words, if a cath lab is in the operating room, it helps to make it safer, more accurate and imminently less chances of infection. So all this is being done and I think that this kind of conference which actually discusses threadbare the advantages and disadvantages and the new innovation and research that is going on is essential and very helpful. Thank you. Structural heart interventions have actually uh, made valvular therapies feasible without any surgical cut on the body. It has seen a big surge in last decade globally, so much so that almost 50,000 uh, aortic valve replacements non-surgically which is called TAVR has been done in US alone last year. India is lagging behind but I think now it is picking up with a velocity. So it has created a big hope for patients who are end stage heart disease patients uh, where nothing was feasible prior but now with structural heart interventions we can actually salvage these patients and increase the longevity and survival of these patients. So up till now in structural heart interventions the aortic valve replacement which is popularly called as TAVR has picked up very fast in last decade or so but we are not far from the time once the mitral valves and tricuspid valves also will be replaced uh, without any surgical intervention on the body. So that would be a wonderful stuff for all kinds of valvular heart disease patients who are high risk or moderate risk for surgical interventions where these patients can benefit from such procedures without any surgery on their body. I am Vijay Ayer, I am an interventional cardiologist and director of structural heart interventions at the State University of New York at Buffalo, New York. The world of structural heart interventions started to grow with the advent of transcatheter aortic valve replacement. Most of you are aware that with the recent trials, transcatheter aortic valve replacements have been shown to be superior for the Edward Sapien valve to surgical aortic valve replacement and equivalent with the core valve Evolute family of valves. We believe that by 2025, 75% of all aortic valve replacements will be performed by transcatheter technologies. The number of devices for valvular heart disease interventions is growing exponentially and this field is going to certainly continue to grow and the interventional cardiology world will play a larger and larger role in valvular heart disease in the near future. We're talking about the other structural heart interventions that include left atrial appendage occlusion, procedures like al alcohol septal ablation for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, atrial septal defect closures, patent foramen ovale closures, ventricular septal defect closures. This also falls in the realm of structural intervention cardiology, and these procedures are also going to increase in the future as we start to get better in relation to devices and outcomes there. You see nowadays is um, the paradigm shift itself. 
in the treatment of structural heart disease patients. So we see that recently there is a dramatic increase in procedures. Uh, so based on these new technologies and thanks to the new devices available, we can enable more and more patients to receive minimal invasive heart valve procedures, uh, which not only uh, improves the quality of life of these patients, it can also prolong the life of the patients. And these patients who were previously considered as um, not suitable for classical cardiac surgery procedures. Well, one of the first procedures that uh, comes to mind is um, the transcatheter aortic valve uh, implantation procedure. If you look at the numbers and you look at number of procedures done in, in Europe or in the United States or in Japan, uh, the number of, um, of transcatheter procedures for the aortic valve patient population exceeded the number of the surgical valve procedures. Recent trial data showing that even we can find patients who are in the low risk patient population and we are still coming close and we are not inferior uh, with the uh, transcatheter technique to the surgery. Even the future of the transcatheter mic implantation, mic replacement techniques that are gonna come uh, uh, to the everyday practice. I think with the severe mitral rigorous patients who has a favorable, favorable anatomy for the catheter-based techniques. This is what I expect the most from the next couple of years.